everybody it is thursday and my appointment got re is going to be rescheduled so i don't have to go anywhere today and thank the lord because i'm gonna tell you i just got out of bed i look i look atrocious i shouldn't even be on camera this morning but ronnie and i were sitting here and um we're having our coffee this morning got my coffee here um, Emma, if you're watching, I'm almost out of coffee and it's going to be a sad day. I got about one more canister that I can get out of what's in the bag. Can't believe we drank we, Yeah, we just enjoyed the stew out of that coffee. But anyway, um, it, we are under wind advisory today. It is cloudy as can be. We're supposed to be rainy. Um, and Ronnie and I just got our first cup of coffee. We're sitting here talking and I said... Um, you know, my mom's going to be coming to town. I said, what would be nice is if, um, I found us an Easter craft to make because, um, she found us already something to make for, um, Christmas this coming year. Can you believe that? Thinking about Christmas. And I thought, well, maybe, um, I would find something that we could make for, um, Easter when she comes in. Cause she'll probably be in about April. So anyways, Ronnie over here says, you know what? I think you should do a basket that you put grass in it that will hold the peanut butter Easter eggs you're going to make me this year. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a good Easter idea? A good egg holder. Yeah. Well, if he ain't selfish, I just don't know. And a compartment for the... Uh, for the uh... You know, for the cheese ball mm -hmm. and for the crackers. and I made peanut butter Easter eggs last year, and everybody really enjoyed them. Oh, yeah. We did. You know, your mama enjoyed them. Yes, she did. She loved them. I mean, and, I've um, never seen the whole batch. I mean, you know, I got to thinking, I got a um, a tablecloth that your mom gave me. Remember when she got us the Easter basket? Yeah. I got an Easter basket, and I got a tablecloth she gave us. I had little bunnies on it. I'm getting, I know we're only in um, February. We haven't even finished February, and here we are talking Easter. Easter ain't till, is it the 6th, 17th, 17th of, April? of April? So, a lot of people um, go ahead and um, decorate in March, you know, so they can enjoy it a lot longer. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I love Easter. Um, I love the pinks and the purples and the rabbits. And I got some new goodies this year from my friend Emma, and I can't wait to decorate with them. My mom was joking with me the other day because <laughs> you know how rabbits populate, <laughs> and it's kind of like um, it's kind of a, a you know a thing. Anyways, um, I've got the, all these rabbits on my kitchen table, and I sent her a picture. So we will need to separate those rabbits, or they're gonna populate. <laughs> We don't want to have a house full of rabbits running around. <laughs> when I lived in Memphis, there was this man who moved out of his house, and he left behind his rabbits. He had these beautiful white bunnies, and they were domesticated, and he didn't take them with him. He left them, left them in the grass, and I thought, how awful. And they started populating, and... um the um, city had to get involved to uh, wrangle them all up because they were eating people's flowers out of their flower beds <laughs> and getting in gardens and stuff. And people was really, really complaining. But I actually, uh, my kids, whenever we would look outside, we see all those rabbits. And I don't know if some of you moms even know what I'm talking about, but they used to watch Teletubbies. And you remember when it was the green grass and you see the Teletubbies, and you see the little rabbits scurrying on the ground in the in the beginning of Teletubbies. And um, anyways, my kids said they lived in Teletubby land because every day we'd look outside and we see these little bunnies everywhere. It's just so funny. But we had, um, that's probably awful to say, but we had a very grumpy neighbor who did not think that that was such a special... A special thing having them rabbits out there and he was the one that bothered the city enough that they came and took care of them and it was a sad day to see the rabbits go it was so sad 
but I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'm going to take you along on my day today. I got a lot of housework to do, and I got a lot of catching up to do, but this girl really needed her sleep. Yesterday, I come home from craft class. By the way, I'll insert some video here of what I took at craft class yesterday. <laughs> Is that doing good? Yep, it looks real good. Just cover that whole thing. Ronnie really loves the finger paint. Oh, we, we got some good use out of that. <laughs> I tried to get fancy. I tried to get fancy with mine. But I like the idea about the hot glue they put on there so you could feel it. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Um, we painted some things. It was just a very relaxed, chilled uh, craft class, and we enjoyed. Ronnie enjoyed, it, didn't he, baby? It was, one, it was real good. Uh, it was uh, different. It was good. Yeah. Always good to get involved with uh, anything. You and he to loves find. to paint, so it didn't matter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even matter what it is he's painting. He just loved to paint. So um, we made a butterfly. We made two butterflies, an arrow, and a little tiny like tray thing that I'm definitely going to put out for spring. And uh, so we did a we did a pretty good job yesterday making things. We had a good time, um, and we got to see and catch up with some of our friends. That was nice. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we did that. When I got home, uh, we ate. We watched a Walton, and I laid down and took a nap. And I slept and slept and slept. And then at 11 o'clock last night, I went back to bed and I did not get up until 10 till 10 this morning. So guys, if your body is telling you to sleep, get some sleep. <laughs> it is worth it because you feel so much better and I feel so much better today. And so I've got a lot to do today. I've got some bathrooms to scrub and some lists to make because I've got company coming. And if you guys have any um, spring ideas for crafts for me and mom to make when she comes in in April, leave it in the comments down below. Or leave me a link if you can send me a link of something you think we ought to make. I think that'd be cool. I love to get new ideas. So let me know and I'll be checking. Hello, everyone. I am checking in. I am making some soup. So I've got some brown Italian sausage and some garlic. And then um, I drained that when that was browned. I added in my diced tomato, diced tomatoes, diced potatoes, and I covered it with water. I'm bringing it up to a boil. I'm gonna let it simmer until the potatoes are done. And then I'm gonna add all the extra goodness to it. And it's gonna be a good hearty soup. I'll probably make some cheese toast in the oven to go with it. It just sounds so good. My son called me and I cleaned my kitchen. I'll show you guys. I did all these dishes right here. You see this? A lot of dishes I did while being on the phone with him. And I loaded a load of clothes and the washer. You probably can hear it agitating behind me. So I've got a couple bags of trash to take out. I'm going to make finish up dinner and um, really just got some odd and end things to do today. I'm gonna take you guys along. So I thought I would show you a project that I've got going on. I'm going to tell you that my lower cabinets are very bad off. They had some water damage. Um, not necessarily like mildew growing, but you could definitely tell where moisture had been. And if you guys remember, let me show you guys. If you guys remember, I painted all up underneath here, um, which made things so much better so much cleaner um you're not going to get perfection with these because these uh cabinets are old old also too i don't even have drawers on the front so i'm going to fix that and eventually all of the cabinets will be painted white i mean solid white to all of it and new hinges put on at some point i'd like to get that done this summer 
but we will see because there is a whole line and list of things that need to get done. And you know how it is with an older house. If you have one, I mean, it's just one thing at a time. So right now, um, I just gave this a coat of paint. Um, I, I really may still lay some contact paper in there, but as bad off as it was, contact paper was not going to stick to it anyways. So I went ahead and I, you know, just got under there and painted the whole thing. Um, and I feel better about it because uh, that way it'll be nice and clean in there and I don't have to worry about anything. Also, too, I'm going to go through all of this that I took out of there. Um, the bigger stuff that I don't use all the time, I'm going to put in a pantry. Uh, my pantry shelves are real high up ones. And then the stuff I use all the time will utilize the space. Because right now, it's like an avalanche. Every time I get in and out of this cabinet and I'm getting, well, I hate to say it, but I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> and uh, so I'm taking all of this stuff and I'm going to reorganize it and make that um, more suitable for me. Just took out the trash. Pouring down the rain. Wind blowing like crazy. <laughs> Ron <laughs> Ronnie has his pants pulled all the way up so he didn't get them wet. And it is our backyard literally is a pond. We just waded through the pond to take out the trash. <laughs> 